which is uh, uh, after fairly new acquisition part of the uh, marine bio innovation uh, and, and topics that we are uh, that I'm going to discuss today. They are <clears throat> first of all the introduction of, of program, what we are doing and, doing and, and who we are. Uh, then talking about the efficacy of, of, of biologicals and, and how we are defining it, and, and finally uh, some key uh, findings from the 2019 field uh, development. So uh, first, uh, before I start, uh, as we are part of the publicly listed company, uh, here is the basic safe harbor uh, statement. So basically, uh, note that these are forward-looking uh, statements and, and should be taken as, as such. We are a Finnish company, or, or our headquarters is in Finland. Uh, we have an office also in, in Estonia, uh, Brazil, Uruguay, and, and US. Uh, uh, the, the company was founded in 2014 by, by Dr. Rita Dakano uh, uh, with a with few uh, business partners. Uh, the, the technology itself originates uh, further back uh, to the 70s when Dr. Dakano was uh, uh, head of the uh, biological department of, of the space program, uh, joint space program of, of US and USSR. Uh, and, and, and they were given a task to, to come up with a biological solution to enable crop growing in, in space station. And, and taking long story in short, uh, the, the first version of, of the backbone of, of programs uh, technologies is due to that time and due to that research. Uh, <clears throat> together, together with, uh, with MPI uh, program technologies, uh, we are forming a global port portfolio of, of biological solutions. Uh, so we have a, a biofertilizer, biostimulants, and bioprotection uh, products uh, that are covering uh, almost all the key markets. So, so we the, the key areas of, of of activity, both testing and and sales, are U.S., uh, uh, Europe, and 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 Latin. Uh, the biggest the key partners that we just announced, uh, or Corteva to Science announced this is with them in, in uh, EU and, and CIS countries. Uh, next year we will uh, treat <coughs> all, all the hybrid seeds of, of Corteva to Science, so, so corn, sunflower, and, and, and oil seed trade. And by their estimation, next year it will mean 25 million acres in, in EU and, and, and CIS countries. Good. So, a little bit about the technology, so, so what we are in, in, in more details, what we are doing on one slide, so not that detailed. Uh, so, <coughs> we, we have a better technology to, to combine or, or produce molecular level complex uh, out, of, out of organic acids and organic structures. Uh, those structures are derived from, from LinkedIn, so basically wood-based uh, structures. And what we are doing, we are combining those <coughs> organic structures and, and acids to, to molecular level complex, so we are bonding them together, and to that uh, complex we are able to, to add nutrients in, in different ratios and, and in different forms. Uh, in US, we are currently uh, registered with our polyar product in, in 20 states, and, and with our seed treatment product uh, only California at the moment. Uh, so we have both polyar and seed treatment uh, products in our portfolio, both in dry and liquid forms. As an example, there is a picture of, of one of our uh, labels. Uh, Foramin is, is the brand in the US, and, and 008 is the polyar product, 0010 is, is the seed treatment product. Uh, as you can see, we are not the nutrient, uh, uh, or our, our formulation contains quite a relatively low contents of nutrients, so, so the key is that, that our molecular level complex, uh, excuse me, molecular level complex is, is really efficacious uh, uh, driver of those nutrients inside the plant, so it's a good platform for, for, for introduction. Formulations are highly concentrated, meaning uh, mainly for the dose rate, and an origin for that is also in a base program, so uh, as you can imagine, to the space station, you cannot 
uh, bring high quantities up there, so so product needs to be very concentrated. So so typically for our seed treatment, the, the basic dose rate varies from from 500 mils to, to 1.2 liters per ton of seed, and, and for the foliar treatments, it's it's typically 150 grams to, for the hectare. So so very low dose rate. And what is important to understand, we are not standalone uh, product both in foliar nor nor seed treatment aspect. So so this is complementary to the to the existing uh, exi existing practices. Uh, yes. So so as I mentioned, Dr. Milke already discussed a little bit about that, but I want to also uh, use some time for it. it it's, it's a hot topic <laughs> clearly for now. So so it's. It's something is, is a lot of discussion, and and if I'm not, if I'm right, all the speakers so far have used the snake or reference, so so there is a reason for that clearly. So so it's still still burden for for our business in, in that sense, and and what I'm going to discuss more is how to, to avoid that and why, for example, Pro Farm is getting so wide uh, adaptation rate in, in in EU, especially how how we did that. So, so it's it's clear that there is a lot of very potent, very efficacious solutions already, and an uprising more and more every year. Uh, why the snake oil? Why still there is discussion about the snake oil? So I I see a few reasons for that. First of all, is is the adaptation rate of, of anything new, not just the agro agro uh, chemicals and then in our industry, but every time there is something new, there is a, a trust building phase that is taking some time. <coughs> Secondly, uh, there is unfortunately, as Doug was mentioning, there is still snake oils, so which are not uh, working in a, in a very trusted way, uh, so in high uh, yields only for single data points and so on and so on, marketing those. Uh, but <clears throat> the third point is, is maybe the most important one is that um, many of the products are only focusing on the primary effects, which are the yield and mode of action. And then you are basically discussing the same topics than, than those snakes oil. Snakes oil are about discussing about. Uh, <clears throat> so why why we have that adaptation rate and, and, and how we define that as a, one of the best biologicals in, in, in Europe? Uh, we are not uh, stating that that by means of, of yield we would be the best, or in general we would be the best. Uh, but when you are taking the whole package, then we are probably the best, or at least very close to that. Uh, so we see uh, efficacy of the biological as a, as a, as a sum of, of multiple parameters, and I use here as an example our 2019 Paraguay soybean trial, where one of the distributors selected 19 <coughs> the most efficacious and, and top performing biologicals into side by side testing, and actually there is a typo. The biological one is, is commercial control, so what Paraguay farmers are used to do, and, and then they compare everything. The green bar is, is our seed treatment uh, formulation for, for LATAM, and as you can see, we are in the top bracket, but, but there are still uh, two to three uh, more uh, yielding, yielding products. But the key, as, as already mentioned, is, is the consistent effic efficacy, so the first bullet point is, is that. So, for example, in, in pro form we are discussing more about the win rates, not single point yields. As we know, there is a lot of, in conference, you can see 30 frozen, 40 frozen yields, and always those are mainly rising more questions than, than interest. Uh, so we are discussing about the win rate uh, over, over one year or over a longer period of time, and, and in our uh, line of business normally it is saying that if you have a six out of ten product it's really good so you win six out of ten trials uh, seven out of ten is, is very good uh, eight out of ten is almost starting to be unbelievable nine and ten is is very very unbelievable we are at the moment uh, eight out of ten so that's one of the key that we have uh, then uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to jump a little bit over the, the compatibility and treatment technology because that was already discussed <clears throat> so you need to be able to apply in, in the be applying to the seed on the seed. Uh, regulatory is one that I <coughs> excuse me, uh, think that was not discussed <coughs> yet. Uh, 
see the companies as they tend to favor the uh, products that are already re registered or has a really easy landscape for the regulatory. And for example, one of our key was that we have a <coughs> formulations that are easy register regi registrable. Uh, so we had a fairly a quick access to, to every uh, EU 28 countries uh, with the regulatory. And final points, I got the five minutes, so I'm also speeding up. Uh, final points are the, uh, are the ROI, uh, ROI and, and, and the production cap capabilities, which were already discussed, and I was really happy that <coughs> Jack was selling the results uh, based on ROIs. So now and I have been saying that the yield is not the most important thing. Of course, I'm going to show some results that are based uh, some of the, uh, on, on yield. So the first one uh, is, is on cereals. And, and as an example, uh, in, in uh, Argentina, we tested both wheat and barley uh, throughout the multiple location uh, against the best existing practice <coughs> with our seed treatment and with seed treatment and foliar packets. And, and uh, average was five. 6 with the seed treatment and same scheme with the barley 20 frozen. Uh, but also we are we are monitoring different kind of physiological parameters. This is now very preliminary level uh, with root and, and leaf uh, masses, but we see quite consistent uh, impact on, on those two. Uh, next crop that I would so as an example is, is 2019 uh, corn trials, uh, some of our free results out of, out of those. Good, so uh, second example of, of, of trials that we, we favor, so we were competing against the testing against uh, four uh, top high-end biologicals, uh, which, which are here, and, and again, you can see that there is no big difference in, 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 in top performing, but when we are opening that up, we are leading in, in, in terms of ROI or uh, ROI and, and so on. Uh, this is, is our uh, trials to the 19 with, with Corteva API science. So, so we are also bringing solutions to the market, uh, not just treating their seeds. And, and we tested uh, corn and, and multiple crops uh, across the Europe in different countries. We have, uh, in total, we have 14, uh, locations with two corn hybrids and, and as you can see uh, better better root formation all, all around the location uh, but also more robust uh, biomass and and the initial yield results are in and, and with one first hybrid uh, the average out of 14 location was was 5.9 and with the second hybrid 2.7 Good. And also uh, stress, uh, as we know, it, it is a leading uh, increasing factor. So we have a lot of working with that. And as one example, uh, we did multiple germination tests with, with different stress conditions uh, in, in greenhouse conditions. Uh, the one on the right this is a normal conditions, and, and, and orange one this is our forming seed treatment. Uh, but also we tested in, in different cold, uh, temperature conditions and, all, and also different light regimes. And as a final slide, I will share the, the soybean data also from, from 2019 uh, and, and Argentina. And now you can see that again we were tested uh, head to head with, with one of the key or top performing biologicals that was selected by the, the uh, <clears throat> the CRO that was conducting the trial. Uh, no year difference between biologicals, uh, of course, against the co uh, commercial control, good efficacy. But now when we are comparing, for example, return on, on return of investment, uh, it is at least five times in favor of, of pro, uh, pro farm product farming. Just as a summary of, of thought that I would like to leave uh, is that uh, uh, we are, as pro firm and NBI, we have a good global coverage with our portfolio. Uh, we are mainly active in, in both Americas and, and EU, uh, but of course, w with existing portfolio of partners, we are con uh, constantly increasing that and looking at uh, interesting candidates to work with.